Hi there, and welcome to another pencast for the course Reasoning and Logic. In this one, we take a look at an old exam question that asks us to create a formal structure as a counterexample to an argument written in predicate logic. The way I like to tackle these problems is to first take a look at the different predicates that we actually need to define truth sets for. In this case, we have three, P, Q, and R. Furthermore, we have a constraint in our domain. We're not allowed to have more than three elements. So we need a domain, a P, a Q, and an R. We start with a domain of just one element, just A, and then we'll see how it goes from there. Now, the first premise that I would like to take a look at is the one that contains the there exists operator. It's nice because it usually forces us to put some things into these sets. So this premise says that there needs to be something that's not in Q. Okay, well, that's easy. We got that covered is empty and there should be something in R namely X with X so in this case a with a we have only one choice for X after all now the first premise seems to say something about Q as well so let's take a look what that one says it says that all X need to be either in P or in Q or both well if we put a in P then we can make the first premise true without compromising the validity or the truth of the second one for the third one, it says that for all y, there should be an x such that rxy or ryx is in r, or is true. Since there's only one value again, y equals x equals a, and aa is already in r, yeah, that seems to check out. So now all we need to do is make sure that the conclusion is false. The conclusion says that there should, says that there should be something that's both in p and in q. In other words, all elements should either not be in P or not be in Q. Well, since Q is empty, this also checks out. The conclusion is false. So there you go. One example of a formal structure that makes all of the premises true and the conclusion false. You can make it more complicated by adding more elements to your domain and seeing how you can still make the premises true and the conclusion false. But for questions like this, I believe that adding more elements will only make your life harder. And with that, we've come to the end of this video. See you around for the next one.